Ah, it feels good to have shaders back. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nash, and welcome to my channel for episode two of my one dot cozy, one dot one dot cozy. Yep, that's it. <laughs> my one dot twenty cozy Minecraft survival let's play. Welcome back, you guys. And holy cow, I have to start off this video by just thanking you guys so much for all of the love and support on episode one we hit 10,000 views within the first 24 hours and the next day when i woke up and checked it was at 15,000 views and over a thousand likes at like a thousand four hundred i think it was last time i checked you guys are insane in like the best way ever I seriously cannot thank you enough for all the love and support on this series. You guys really seem to be enjoying the first episode and that is what made me want to hop right in and get started on this episode. So, oh, thank you. And we definitely hit the 200 like goal. I underestimated you guys by a long shot. Uh, let me stop jabbering on and let's get into the episode. So welcome to my temple base. This is our archeological start for 1.20. They added archeology span into the game in the new 1.20 update of Minecraft. So I am wanting to explore everything that that has to offer along with all the other things too uh, that we'll eventually get to. But in the last episode, we found this desert temple and this desert temple gave us these really cool smithing templates, the dune armor trims. Uh, so that was pretty cool. We got diamonds from a shipwreck we got a heart of the sea from a shipwreck uh our first berry treasure which was awesome and then we also found this secret room here that we need to explore there's a secret room underneath some of this different sand here right here so we've definitely got plans for today i'm so glad we have a nice little home here in this desert temple but we definitely have other things to accomplish we also got a new friend named gizmo <laughs> and i'm getting attacked hold on um i actually wanted to show you guys something uh before we go to sleep so hopefully i don't get too attacked or die oh my goodness all right we need to get armor as soon as possible and eat some of my bread and then we are gonna maybe go fight a skeleton hi guy i guess we are this is this is happening all right i'll take the the arrows but while it's still nighttime i wanted to show you guys something because we are playing in shaders i was waiting for optifine to come out and then i realized you could use something called sodium to run minecraft shaders as well so I installed Sodium and my shaders are working again. So I am super excited to play with shaders from here on out. But the shaders I'm using are called complementary. And look what they do to the coral reef. I had to show this to you guys because my goodness is this beautiful. The way it glows. This makes me want to build an underwater base of some sort. Oh my gosh. I gotta take a picture of this, a little screenshot, cause, I mean, come on. Oh, I'm drowning, oh no, <laughs> don't die. Also, it's raining. But yeah, I just thought that was really cool, and I wanted to show you guys <laughs> how cool shaders can be. Uh, so let's take one more dip, just cause I can't help myself. Whoosh. Oh, it's so beautiful. Looks like a cyberpunk dream down here quickly running into bed to go to sleep i am getting attacked left and right we need to build up a bit a bigger base and honestly probably put some doors on my house because any old thing can just walk right in i mean look at that <laughs> they're fighting each other oh and i'm about to die don't be like me i have a zombie horde attacking my base at the start of this episode how fantastic the thing about the husks and living in the desert is they don't burn in the daylight so we're gonna be fighting zombies quite often here first things first i need to go find some feathers in the last episode we talked about getting a brush which is one of the new things in 1.20 it's an archaeologist brush and me being an archaeologist we definitely need to start uncovering some treasures if we can so we need to get the brush but in order to do that we need to get feathers and in order to do that we're gonna need to find either a shipwreck or a plains village 
And a lot of you guys might be thinking, now nah, she can just kill chickens. Uh, yes, we can kill chickens, but I am not hurting passive mobs in this series. So we actually can't do that in this series. Because this is supposed to be a cozy let's play, I only want to hurt the hostile mobs or anything that can be hostile towards me. Uh, we will build farms later. That is going to be kind of my loophole to getting other resources is uh, building farms that because technically right that doesn't count as me hurting the animal it counts as the farm hurting the animal or mob it's it's definitely a it's definitely a sketchy loophole but you know what i'm rolling with it because sometimes we gotta find loopholes um just as long as i'm not hurting them you know what i'm saying i don't know whatever some, some of you guys might not agree with that we're gonna we're gonna do it anyway um but that means we are gonna have to start adventuring off to find shipwrecks today and I am not opposed to that because buried treasure is one of my favorite things. I'm, I know I'm supposed to be an archaeologist in this series, but sometimes I turn more into a pirate. So there's the shipwreck we found in the first episode. That is right there. So I believe if we keep going this way, we should run into that temple. And I really want to go check it out and see what's inside of that thing. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> As a true archaeologist, I know my way around. Okay, so this being at nighttime, this is gonna get a little bit dicey. Especially, uh, look how many drowns they are. Another good thing about these shaders is the drowns glow. So, I'm actually able to see them relatively well, which is very nice. I don't know if we're actually gonna find anything super crazy here, but there is a chest. Dang. Ooh, a buried treasure map. I assume that's going to take us to the buried treasure that we already found. Because that one's that was like right there. It was super close. Look at all these drowns. Oh my goodness, you guys. I don't have time to fight zombies. <laughs> they should be easy to, uh, easy to fight though. Oh, there's a trident guy. Oh no, he broke my boat. Oh no, okay. All right. Oh shoot. Oh, we're going to die. We're gonna die here. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh no. Oh no. Eat, Nash. Eat. It's okay if we die here, because I know where this is. But this is not ideal, and I don't think I grabbed my boat. Just the stinky part. We we got this. We got this. We just gotta eat. <laughs> I have one piece of bread left. <laughs> oh no. I can't believe I'm surviving. That's cool. There's like a um, brick here. I didn't even know that. Oh, I knew a trident guy would come. This is why we need armor. He's following me. Oh, I'm sinking. Oh, no. I doubt the buried treasure map. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Don't hit me. I need a shield. Just dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Oh, no. We're definitely gonna die. Ah! <laughs> I drowned. I drowned whilst trying to escape. Drowned. Wow. That's poetic. All right, we're gonna go about this a little bit differently, a little bit more smart. So, I actually do have quite a bit of iron. We found this in the shipwreck in our first episode, uh, I believe. So, and I have quite a bit of this. I don't know why I didn't think to make a full set of armor. But I just, I didn't, I think I didn't want to waste any of my resources. I wanted to hang on to it because we're still so early game. I didn't want to just spend all of my iron, especially because I do like using my iron for tools when I can. Uh, and speaking of, we should probably get ourselves squared away with a new shiny pickaxe. All right. Sometimes it takes mistakes <laughs> to realize that you're actually prepared for uh, things more than you think you are. Okay. We got a boat. We got a new pickaxe. I don't have a sword. Um, I probably could make a stone sword. Oh, I don't have any more stone. That probably was on me. Okay, let's sleep as well. Make it daytime. And then we're gonna go on a rescue mission to get my stuff back. Does anyone else when they're playing Minecraft just sort of like panic sometimes? Because <laughs> I felt like that's definitely what was happening when I was over there. I just went into panic mode and I was like... Oh, get me out of here. There's a trident guy. Also, not to mention, I do not have very much food on me, which is a situation we should probably sort out. When it comes to this Let's Play, guys, I really want this to be an authentic Let's Play. I want it to be like I am normally playing. So all this chaos, all this um, not really thinking ahead and not planning things like 
sometimes I genuinely just get excited to start exploring and I forget that I have a, a, a million other things to do like making a food farm and um, you know all these other things that you have to like planting crops making a food farm getting a starter house going making armor like sometimes I get so caught up in just playing and the excitement of playing and exploring that I forget all of the basic necessary things you need to do and i wonder if you guys are like that too do any of you guys do that as well where you get so excited that you get kind of sidetracked and then you're like crap i wasn't ready for this adventure at all <laughs> that's the fun of playing that's the fun of learning half the fun is just figuring it out and then once you get good you're like dang i did that i figured it out so yeah there is that drowned temple we're going into this a little bit more prepared this time. I brought a shield, I brought armor. Hopefully we can grab my sword once we get here. So hopefully all of my stuff loaded up. I'm seeing my orbs already. My XP orbs and there is all of my beautiful things. All right. There's so many more drowns here than I expected there to be. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be a super easy mission. And I ended up dying, so I hope that was worth it, guys. I did technically come over and explore this thing uh, for you guys for hitting the 200 likes on the first episode. So I hope my death was worth it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I this is this is still super cool. I really like this, and I'd love to make something out of it later. Um, but I do kind of want to keep exploring this. I feel like we didn't even really do. What I wanted to do, okay, that thing keeps sucking me down. I'll take the gold, I'll take the coal, I'll take a little bit of weed, that's always good. There's that freaking trident guy. I've got a plan, I've got a plan, I've got a plan of action. What we're gonna do, we're gonna fight this trident guy. Now, I don't have any enchants, so this isn't gonna be, like, the best thing. But we're gonna put a door down, so we can breathe. And then we're gonna find this guy, and we're gonna fight him. Okay, they're all seeing me now. This is gonna be like a weird source of like a drown farm uh, going on here. Oh my, oh, there he is. Oh shoot. Yeah, hit the other guy with your tridents. Yes, this is incredible. <laughs> this is awesome. What? I swear he's like hitting me through the wall. All right, I think this might be not a mission success. But the thing is, I gotta get out. I think I can do this. All right, we're getting out of here. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, I'm escaping with one heart. All right, yeah, I will come back. I will get a trident from one of you one day. Uh, we have other things to get up to, so. Thank you guys again so much for the 200 likes on the first episode. That was, I mean, you guys smashed it. You guys hit a thousand likes. So that makes me feel like I need to up, up it a bit. Like, again, I don't normally do this, but you guys smashed it. And so now I'm thinking, all right, can we get on this video, can we get 750? 750 likes. That's quite a bit more than the 200 we originally set. But you guys had a thousand, so I'm gonna try to find a happy medium. So if you guys can smash that, I let's see what could I do in the next episode that would be dangerous. I really need to get frog lights because I want to build with those in the desert. I think they'll really complement the desert well. So maybe in the mm, I got it in the next episode. We'll go to the nether for the first time. I kind of don't feel like I'm too ready for the nether yet. But if we can get 750 likes, I'll head into the nether and see if I'm prepared for it. All right, guys, I think I'm home. Let's actually head inside. And there's a creeper. Oh, gosh, it's nighttime. <laughs> I feel like no health. Um, I found my temple. Wait, hold on a second. I, I feel like this isn't my temple. Hold on. <laughs> Let me fight this creeper. I really need food. This is a this is dire situation here. Uh, oh no, that skeleton's gonna cause me some issues. One one blow from a skelly and I am done. Oh, that's lava! Oh my god, why is everything deadly? Oh, this is Minecraft scary game. This is a scary game instead of a cozy game. 
Oh yeah, this definitely is not my holy crap. Nope. Nope, this is no no. Oh god. Oh god. Wow, that worked out in my favor. How did Okay. Wait a second. Let me just clear this out. And then we can maybe explore this. This is not my temple. I really can't tell you how I'm still alive right now, but here we are. I wanted to get back to my house so I could start planting crops, not finding another temple. Although, I could mark the coordinates down for this and come back later. I'm really thinking that there might be food down in this temple though, so if I can successfully and safely get myself out of here, this wouldn't be too bad of an option. I gotta admit guys, I am on edge in this temple, but you know the great thing is there is another secret room here. So we gotta remember where this is so we can come back. But anyways, I gotta get myself down into this hole and see if there's any food. Oh, I never thought I would be going into a temple to find food of all things. You know, normally you're looking for diamonds or treasure or anything like that, but nope, today we're looking for food. All right, light this up so you guys can see quite a bit. Also probably should have removed that so you can see a little bit more. And then definitely take the pressure plate out. I'm really hoping nothing falls down in here on, on top of me. I really hope I didn't just speak that into existence, but let's see what we've got here. Uh, a saddle, another saddle. We could have, you know what, horses actually might be a great thing. I might just leave these in here. I can always come back to this later. Something we definitely need to keep in mind. Sand, I don't need that. Diamonds, great, oh, lovely. I will take all of those. That's amazing, but is there any food? Diamond horse armor, but no food. All right, it's time to actually head back home. I can't, we got diamonds, that's incredible. All right guys, because I'm a smart Minecrafter, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna make, actually I already have a crafting bench, don't need to make one. We are going to make a fishing rod. We're going to cook our fish and we're gonna survive. There it is. Fishing rod, yes! Oh, never did I think in episode two I would be fishing for survival, but here we are. We're in such a dire situation here, but uh, there's always a solution. There's always a way around. Think, think, think. There it is, fishy business. Got the advancement. We can start getting this raw cod cooked up and this is gonna be the way to go. This is how we're getting food. Maybe our desert could be some sort of fishing village. Like a fishing imports kind of place where they sell fish. I think that could be kind of cool. All right, just ate my fish. My hearts are going up. That is what I like to see. The sun's going down. It's going blah, blah. <laughs> sun's going down, so I don't want to spend too much time here. But that was that was the solution. So fishing might actually be a viable option for us. So now it's just a ma matter of finding home. Once we find the village, we'll be right next to home so that should be should be easy to find shouldn't be too hard so i've stumbled upon a new village this is a different village this isn't our home one. Oh, meat <laughs> now i never said i was a vegetarian or a vegan in this series i still will eat meat if i come across it i just don't want to hurt any animals in the process is that weird? I don't know, maybe that's weird. But yeah, we have found a brand new village. My inventory is super full, so I am still on the hunt to find home. But it's always nice to know where a new village is, and there's some acacia wood over here, which is pretty cool too. And another camel. So we could breed camels. How incredible is that? There is our camel. It seems like one spawns in every desert village. So that's pretty incredible to note. Now, if I give you cacti, you will like me. Am I right about that? Let's get rid of this orange terracotta and go find some cacti. See if we could tame this guy up and then we could ride him home and then we could have a breeding pair of camels and then in an upcoming episode what we can do is make a camel sanctuary because I definitely think our villagers and our village would love camels. I think that they would want everything uh, to do with camels. So if we already have Gizmo, we need to think of another name for my camel. So I think this would be a good opportunity for you guys to get to name the camel. So if you guys put down in the comments section a good name, I will pick one from the next episode. My camel's gone. Oh no. 
All right, there we go. Are you my friend now? I don't know what the hearts mean. <laughs> I think it means I love you. Uh, so that's good. And we do have the saddles. All right, now it's officially time to head home. Just got home. It took me forever to get home, but I moved Gizmo inside so that I know which one is Gizmo and which camel is the new camel that we brought over that you guys are going to name. Hopefully he doesn't, he or she, it doesn't really matter. Uh, go too far. I hope that they stay around here. That would be really nice. But Gizmo's inside and safe, so we'll keep Gizmo here for a lifetime. It should be awesome. Uh, but with that being said here, I would, uh, would like to get some crops going. Now, do I have any dirt on me is the question. I don't. Uh, I also really need to clean out my inventory. We need to get some birch planted and that's pretty much it. But I definitely want to get this all cleared out here. And then I got to go collect some dirt so that we can get these, this one seed, <laughs> this one seed that I have planted. Hi Gizmo. Gizmo wants some cuddles. Hi Giz. Oh Giz, you're so cute. Oh my goodness. All right, so we don't need too much dirt. I also should probably think about getting a bucket together so I can bucket some water. So this seems like a pretty just uh, secure area. We're probably gonna move this once we start finishing uh, building out our house. But this seems like a good place to start. And I always like to hide my water in a kind of underneath another block just so it's not so visible. Ooh, the only bad thing is I don't have enough. See, this is what I'm talking about earlier when I didn't want to make the armor because I don't have any more iron to make a bucket. I, I'm going to have to go find some iron. That's for sure. Also, I love that we can make a pickaxe and an enchanting setup. But of course, we definitely want to wait out uh, for the future for that. I also want to just double... Oh, <laughs> Gizzy wishes he could fit on my bed, but cannot sorry sorry gizmo where am i gonna get iron oh this is the struggles of living in the desert i did want to go into the ocean and see if i could find iron that way but this is basically where i was gonna plant my farm now i'm feeling better now that we have a little bit more food so maybe it is time that we go get some iron i feel like i am jumping all around in this episode so i I, i'm sorry guys if it's a little bit hard to follow but there's just when you start up a minecraft world you have so much that you have to do and so much you have to think about just kind of running all over the place because one thing leads to another thing leads to another thing and then you end up having to do like 30 different things that diverge from your original plan that you had and you're just like oh, okay okay <laughs> so i'm actually seeing iron down there Perfect. So you just want to make sure you bring doors with you. Make sure you get tons of air before going down. And then we can just kind of dive bomb right down. And this works better in the actual ocean. This is just like a little pocket of water. But the ocean is such a great place uh, to get resources. It really can be. And also you mine a lot faster when you're standing in the doorway. So that's just another thing to kind of keep in mind. Oh, look at the moon and look at the sky. The shaders are incredible. Another thing I'll mention is oftentimes you do have to find quite a deep area to uh, be able to find lots of iron. So sometimes you'll find these deeper pockets like that. Look how much iron is down there. And because I have the shaders going, I can see all of it. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. So you basically just want to dive bomb down deep, 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 deep again. Don't forget your doors. This is the most key part of this entire thing because you will not make it if you don't bring a door. But you just stand in the doorway and then mine up all of the iron. It can be super easy. And if you're good about not drowning, it can be safer than going caving. But there we go. We just got a ton of iron like that. Then what we can do is grab our air up, pick up the door, and then find the next little piece of iron here. Place our door back down, pop on the inside, and then just continue to collect the iron. It's pretty good. Uh, I suggest you guys give it a try sometime and see how much iron you get. I would be really, really intrigued to see how it goes for you guys. Well, let me know. 
I definitely say if you guys are bored of strip mining or just caving, it's not quite your thing. This is definitely a different method to try. Uh, it is, it can be a little bit more difficult, but also it can be really kind of relaxing and calming just to go down under the water and try to see what you can find. And again, if you go deep in the oceans, sometimes they'll go deep enough where you'll find a ravine and it will have like diamonds in it and stuff. You can get really, really lucky with your finds. 15 iron for just a couple minutes of my time in the oceans is not too bad at all. So I'm gonna get this crafted into a bucket bucket is being crafted so that's lovely and then what we can do is take our carrots and our potatoes as well you are like hissing at me i don't i don't appreciate the sass gizmo goodness it's kind of a moody kind of a moody camel <laughs> so this is going to be an extremely easy starter farm for us we are going to put that there like so and boom place that there and we can actually go four blocks out oh gosh here come the zombies just in time must you guys come and bombard me goodness all right so we should uh have all this land watered and this is perfect for our little oasis that we have started here okay taking another pop out oh there's actually one right there nice i only went a little ways a little ways and we're actually not too far away from my uh, house it's just down that way i know that looks like the void of abyss of ocean <laughs> i promise my house is somewhere over there uh anyways let's see what am i above it now see i can't see i can't see anything oh it's back that way okay 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 there's a drowned right there really okay we're right above it there it is beautiful let me pull my boat just a little bit closer <laughs> All right, this uh, down here is going to be the one that we want to find. If it has feathers in it. Oh my gosh, it has the mother load of feathers. Yes. <laughs> oh, baby. That's incredible. I've never been so excited about finding feathers in my life. We got six. That is definitely enough to get our book and quill. And then also definitely enough for us to get the brush. We're going to be archaeologists today. Oh, and then we have another buried treasure map. Happy, happy day. And that looks like a different treasure map than our last one. All right, so I know we did this in the last episode, uh, but I love treasure hunting. I hope you guys don't mind treasure hunting with me. It looks like we're pretty dang close to this thing. We just got to keep going t sort of towards the land, I would assume. The beehive right there, too, that we can remember. Oh, and this looks like a Savannah M or Savannah S biome. I need to figure this out because I always get them confused. And then I always talk about how confused I am. <laughs> okay, it is definitely on this tiny little island right here. Oh, all right. Easy peasy. Let's uh, scoot our butt. Butt here, butt here. And uh, right like that. It should be right under us. There it is! <laughs> the strat never fails, guys. It really doesn't. <laughs> okay, another diamond! Oh, I love to see it. What is this? Potion of water breathing? It looks so different. I guess spruce. There's plenty of spruce where that came from. So, uh, awesome. I like to leave the chest here so that I know that I've been here before. Because sometimes I end up finding the same treasures. But let's head back to the house now that we have all of our feathers. I'm so excited about this. So now that we got the feathers, it is the most exciting time of the day. It is time to make my very first archaeologist brush. Oh, I have been waiting for this moment since the new update came out. I need some sticks, and I believe it is a stick, a copper, and a feather. So this copper holds it together. The feather is what makes the brush. Look at that. Now we can actually enchant these. That looks amazing. Swish, swish, swish. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's so cool. So our uh, hidden room treasure thing should be over here. And again, this is my first time doing this. So I'm like, I hope this is good. But basically, we're supposed to just brush away. Oh, there we go. We're getting something. Oh, are we getting our first pot piece? Oh, that was amazing. 
Respecting the remnants. I got a new advancement? So, minor pottery shard. Oh, Giz. Giz, what are you doing? He wants in on the action. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we can't brush normal sand away. It has to be the suspicious sand. So, if we go over here and we dig, is this actually going to find that secret room for us? Looks like there's more suspicious sand here, so that's a good sign. Let me brush this away. Oh, this is so exciting, guys. I'm finding another pottery shirt. That is so cool. It makes it into normal sand. So here's another one. Let's keep going here. We're getting so many shards. 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 I don't know what to call them. So I just keep digging. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. I'm digging my whole base apart. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this actually finds or gets us. There we go, we got another one. This is cool. Am I gonna be able to put a pot together or something? This is this is actually really fun. I did not think I would enjoy this as much as I am. It's really cool. I thought there would be like a room with treasure though. Like, see what I'm saying? Like, is this is this something? It seems like something, doesn't it? I'm tearing my base apart. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I think this is the point where we just start kind of digging, maybe. Alright, so far I'm not really- Oh! <laughs> I'm like, out of my face. Hello! Yeah, hello, world! Um, no, I am- I'm trying to find the-, the I could have sworn there's like a secret room! Like, I swear it's a thing! I, am I- am I going crazy? <laughs> Please tell me, there's a secret room! I don't know, I thought you- I thought you dug up the sand and then there was a secret room there. Oh! <gasps> Wait, there's actually- are you kidding me? Wait, there's actually stairs here! I was not tearing my base apart for nothing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So far this doesn't like go to anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just watched a video because I was like, these stairs don't lead to anything and I was a bit confused by that. Um, come to find out, I, I uh, think I actually destroyed the, the room. Yeah. <laughs> so the room was right here. We did find it. It was that little... Uh, did I get the purple block? Yeah. So the blue terracotta and the orange terracotta right here is where the room is. And basically you can find more suspicious sand in here. I don't know why, but I thought there would be a chest of some kind. And so that's why I kind of kept destroying it and like, and just breaking it. I thought, ah, look at that. We got an emerald. So basically what you find in these rooms is you find like diamonds and things and emeralds and like specialty blocks so what i want to do is i actually want to go find another one there's a couple other temples nearby and i want to actually try this again but not destroy the room i'm so sorry guys i just i don't know i i didn't find the stairs i thought we would just have to like dig down into it i didn't know there would actually be a staircase that leads over into it so i want to do this the right way for you guys instead of the destructive way so let's actually do it and then maybe we can come back and see what it takes to make one of these pots that would be incredible dun dun dun, dun. we found it we found another temple yes we're going to get to our second treasure room in here in just a second. Oh, I am excited. Excited, excited. So this is the one from earlier, I do believe. Let me just pop in and see, because it's the one that I kind of destroyed <laughs> with all the creepers. How did I get inside of here? I think I went through here. And then, yep, this is, this is where I was hiding. <laughs> uh, and this is where all the creepers were. So this looks like it's where the secret room is. Yeah, this is definitely the spot. So we need to find the first little bit of suspicious sand. Is there any here? Actually not seeing any. Well, that's lame. <laughs> but this is what we're looking for. This strip of sand here is what we need. So we're going to take our... I guess we'll just use our fist here. And we're looking for a staircase. Yeah, there's the stairs. We just want to follow the stairs until we reach the very bottom here. Okay, nice. And then we can kind of use our pickaxe to mine this out a bit. And then I guess we just follow the sand. So there's like sand here. And we'll see the terracotta. And then any suspicious sand we find, we want to definitely... 
really use a brush on that, but I'm sort of, ah, there should be some up here. Okay, so I'm going to start taking out all of this top sand that is not suspicious sand. So we can s hopefully not break any of this suspicious sand. I feel like a real archaeologist now. <laughs> I'm like, we got to dig it out softly, carefully, just so we don't ruin any of the artifacts or anything like that. Always want to preserve it and make sure it's good. Uh, so it's so, it's kind of hard to tell which one's the suspicious sand and which one isn't. So sometimes it can be good just to take your brush and just see here. Maybe this is a dud of a, of a place. Oh crap. That definitely made a weird sound. I think that was, oh, uh, it's just, dang it. They do break if they fall. Oh, I just, <laughs> just two opportunities and I ruin them. No, but it can be kind of hard to see or tell which is the suspicious sand and what isn't. So this one definitely is. Here we go. We might get something from this. A TNT. Wow. Okay. Very cool. It'd be really cool if we could find some diamonds. That would feel amazing. So you basically want the creeper heads to be all the way around the room. And that is, that is the room found. Hey, we got another piece of suspicious sand here. And we found a shard piece. Nice. Oh, we're going to have so many cool uh, pots once we get home. We're going to definitely decorate with some of the new pottery options. That's going to be really cool to do. All right, we got two more blocks here to brush away. All right, give me something good. Looks like we're getting a little gunpowder from this one. And then from this one, diamond, 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 diamond. <laughs> Ah, I didn't even think that was really gonna happen. Heck yes. Oh, this is so cool. I really think this is fun. I almost wish I had more temples around me so that I could go loot them all out. <laughs> Find way more deserts and just go go on a temple hunt. So we are officially uh, finishing out the last few pieces. And this is what it looks like, guys. This is the secret room in the desert temples. It looks like this if you dig it out correctly, unlike me the first time I was in here. Um, it can be really, really cool uh, looking. It looks so cool. And then it kind of, you know, you dig out the whole top. But this is the secret room. And it is quite literally a secret room. I feel like you... Would not know this is here, but always find that strip of sand here that's going to lead you two stairs and then lead you into the secret room. And the cool thing about these secret rooms is you can basically just find those suspicious sand blocks, use your brush on those, you can get things like diamonds, emeralds, gunpowder, TNT, just a few extra resources, which I think is really, really nice. Okay, so after a little bit of repairing, I got the secret room fixed. And it looks brand new it looks exactly like when we found it or well how it was supposed to look <laughs> when we found it uh so we got the pattern here i think this is the pattern on the floor if i can remember correctly and then i just followed the pattern that was already on the walls and then filled everything else in with sandstone and we now have our secret room in our base this is awesome this could be our very own treasure room we'll have to figure out what we want to do with this but i am so happy this is such a cool find and uh, a great way to spend episode two so next thing we got to do is just do the comment uh or the supporter of the day and the comment idea and question of the day are you okay guys what is happening with you uh, so we're gonna take, we're gonna remember that Captain Charlie was on here, and I actually gotta spell it correctly because I didn't before. But I have another person that has been a supporter for a very long time, one of my patrons, who I... Uh, I'm very very grateful for they've been hanging out with me in the discord for a very long time Always been super friendly super active one of our main Members on the channel here, and I can't thank them enough for hanging out with it hanging out with us This is going to Fiero Fiero that's their discord name. So this is going to Fiero or Andrew Thank you, Andrew, uh, for hanging out with us, being a very good friend of the channel and just being a patron and a supporter of the channel for a very, very, very long time. I greatly, greatly do appreciate all of my patrons and anyone who watches the videos as well. Um, it just really means the world to me. So thank you guys so much for all your support. And I still, it, it 
completely throws me off how much support we got on episode one. I just did not expect uh, the love that I got on that episode. And you guys really seem to be enjoying this series. So I did want to go through and uh, I'm starting with all my patrons because they've been with me for such a long time and I do appreciate them so much. Um, but these are two of my Charlie and Fiero are two of my patrons, and then in the next episode, we're going to be adding another patron. So if you want to join my Patreon, it's linked down in the description box below, and uh, you will get your name on the wall soon. I actually might need to start doing two supporters of the day, because I feel like I have so many people that I want to thank. Um, but right now, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it with one. <laughs> I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And to my other patrons, you all will be added, so don't worry about that. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is the comment question and idea portion of the video. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for all your comments and ideas. I actually picked two today that I want to to address or talk about. And I got to find a camel first because what we're going to do, what we're going to start doing is camel chats. I think it would be a great idea to do a camel chat for the video. So we're just going to ride around on the camel. We, You guys get to look at the cute little floppy ears. So many of you guys commented on the last episode how cute the floppy ears are. And they're so cute. Um, so thank you for that because I absolutely adore the little uh, the ears of the camel. But this is where we're going to do the comment question idea. Idea of the day so I have two like I said so the first one is from XX Tatics XX thank you so much for commenting they said hi Nash so glad or so happy you're back I would suggest to get a pet cat they can give you some treats like feathers fandom membranes and other mob drops that can help you out with your passive challenge great video as always so Tatix, thank you so much for that idea. I think that is a great idea. Uh, you guys know throughout this series, we are doing the passive challenge. So we are trying not to hurt any passive mobs. Hostile mobs are free game. We can hurt those, but I don't want to hurt anything passive unless it's in a farm, unless I make a farm specific for it. Cause then it's like, I'm not hurting it. It's the farm that's hurting it, if that makes sense. It's a loophole, just <laughs> whatever. Um, but anyways, I think that is a great idea. And I think cats would fit really well in our village in the future. So maybe next episode or in a future episode, I will definitely jot that down as an idea and we'll go get some cats because getting feathers and stuff like that could be a really, really good idea. Um, I found one in a shipwreck today. So that was another thing that we did. But getting even more items from cats is going to be a great idea. I also got another question from Purple Jelly Tot PJT. <laughs> I like that Purple Jelly Tot. And they said, great episode. What difficulty are you playing the game on? And I, I like to ask, I, I like when you guys ask questions. Oh my gosh, I just got so tongue tied. I like when you guys ask questions because uh, I love answering questions. So I am playing on normal. I believe let me actually double check for you guys let's go here options yeah difficulty normal uh no hardcore no easy we're not playing on hard mode we are just playing normal minecraft uh i want to just keep it super simple super easy for this let's play like i said very calm cozy just chill um i don't want it to be too difficult but i also still want the hostile mobs to spawn in because first of all i want the drops from them but second of all, I do want there to be a little bit of a challenge throughout this series. I don't want it to be completely easy, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, that is what difficulty I'm playing on. And the last thing I wanted to talk about, I, I, I put it earlier on in the video, but some of you guys were asking the coordinates of my desert temple so that I assume you guys can either find it and loot it out or you could live in it yourself and play along with me. So right here, we are right at my desert temple. This is my house here. Positive 1,700 negative 200 is what my cords are so if you want to find this temple there's also several villages and another temple nearby uh, again sometimes i get lost in this desert though so it can be a little bit hard to to travel and journey around but <laughs> that being said um it's not too bad so i hope hope that you guys can find it if you're playing on the same seed and seeds down in the description box below for you guys but 
thank you guys so much for watching this episode of my survival minecraft let's play where we found the secret room in the desert temples it was a really really fun one i love this thank you guys so much again don't forget the like goal for this episode 750 likes i would appreciate it so much so we can keep other people seeing this series and spreading the minecraft love Hope you guys have a very beautiful, wonderful day. Don't forget to check out my second channel as well as all my social medias, my Twitter, my Instagram. That's not really active, but it's there if you if you want to. Uh, but yeah, in my second channel, Nash's Nook is what it's called. So um, also the link on my first video was not working. So I do apologize for that. I'm going to hopefully fix that for this description box below. So please check it out. I'm sorry. And I'll go back and fix the first one too. But I just felt like I needed to say that. But I will catch you guys in the next Minecraft episode where me and Gizmo and the camel that you guys need to name, which is this one right here, uh, will hang out. Don't forget to leave me a comment, question, and idea. And this is the longest outro ever. So I'm going to go. But <laughs> hope you all have an amazing day. Bye, guys. Thank you.